hello hello my dear friends welcome back from being a yacht girl to a mediocre cable tv actress best known for taking her clothes off in suits to marrying an emotionally stunted easily manipulated dimwit who happened to be a prince then fumbling the entire bag within seven years Meghan Markle is best known for her failures and using the achievements of others especially the achievements of other women to spotlight herself while claiming to be a global role model for women and girls. The leather skin parking lot lizard turned wannabe shopping network influencer who sang to seals is now calling herself a dolphin and not a shark when it comes to investing. I don't know who told Megan comparing herself to a dolphin would be a good idea because after the last documentary I watched about dolphins, they are anything but kind and compassionate or cute, but I will touch on that in a moment. Prince Harry's self-serving raggedy trollop of a wife who likes to pretend she is a philanthropist just had to let the entire world know that she has invested in a new brand which supports women in Rwanda. Aw, how cute, right? Well, this being Meghan Markle, I'm going to give you the quick rundown. Sesta Collective is a brand which was founded by two white women who are using women in Rwanda to make their bags. And just because they are paying them a little more than the average wage a woman in Rwanda would make, they think they are saving the world and helping these women by doing a little more than the bare minimum. Enter Meghan Markle. She will invest her money in a white-owned business while black women and children are being exploited and used for cheap labor. If Meghan Markle is such a proud woman of color, then why does she not invest in black women-owned companies? There are many Nigerian women who are incredible designers who would probably love the spotlight, but let's be honest. Meghan Markle doesn't want to highlight anyone who could actually become famous. On the other hand, I'm glad some companies are swerving Meghan and her partnership since they don't want their brand to get markled. Sesta Collective is currently feeling the heat. Internet sleuths have been digging into their business and many, myself included, can see why Meghan Markle chose these women. They are into the business of poverty prawn and they love using those who don't have the luxuries they have to exploit in their photos and feel like they are helping these women out. It's gross, it's fake, and it reeks of I'm better than you. Let me get to the Montecito charlatan comparing herself to a dolphin or even calling herself a dolphin. We know dolphins are smart. Many scientists have classified them as one of the smartest animal species on planet Earth. But that isn't what Meghan Markle is. However, we have seen Meghan's behavior in the past that she is an overtly sexual individual, just like a dolphin in that aspect. I don't know if Meghan Markle is aware of dolphins and their nature of group tag teaming a female dolphin for days on end while they take advantage. This being YouTube, I need to be careful of how I say things, but I'm sure you understand what I am getting at. And if you don't, I will drop links to the articles in the description box below. However, there is a trigger warning. If you cannot handle reading about group assaults, then I suggest you stay away from the articles. Dolphins aren't the cute sea creatures people think they are. Dolphins are evil and they know they are being evil. And I guess in a way, Meghan Markle is further exposing herself subconsciously by calling herself a dolphin. A group of male bottlenose dolphins will corner a female dolphin and take advantage of her for days on end. And it's kind of like what Meghan Markle is doing to these women in Rwanda. She's joined up with women who are already using the women from Rwanda and now the three of them can tag team and exploit these women for their bags. So my friends, once again, Meghan Markle is really showing the world who she truly is. She is a greasy scallywag who is exploiting African women to make herself seem like she is doing something important when she isn't. 
It's almost like Prince Harry and his African park scandal. You know, him pretending to help and care about the indigenous community and instead he is ignoring their pleas for help. Harry and Meghan like to portray themselves to the world as individuals who show up and do good, when in reality, they show up, exploit, and take advantage of vulnerable people. Dolphins are known to be bullies, and so is Meghan Markle. But that's just my opinion, and I would really love to know what you think. Leave your thoughts in the comments below, my friends, and I will catch you in the next one. Stay gorgeous, my lovelies. Bye.